My Uganda, Mali, Cyrus, okay. Yo, hello, it's Reva here, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make a 3D logo in After Effects. And if you guys want to support me, I have a website where you can buy some editing packs. But yeah, let's get right into this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to import a transparent version of the logo you want to make 3D. And I'm going to use a Nike logo for this. And here, uh, decrease the size to 40%. And now we're going to mask out the letters and the whole logo here. So press Ctrl D on the Nike logo layer. Bam. Do this a couple of times. Bam, 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 bam. Just to have some layers you can choose from. So we're going to start off by masking out the uh, letter N here. So I'm just going to do that. And now to the next letter, which is I. Just do this to all the letters here. And now when you're done with all the letters here, we're going to mask out the whole logo, essentially. So I'm going to start up here. Boom. Go down. And then here, we're going to make a a point here and then drag this and you can adjust the curviness on the mask with these strings here just do something like this adjust a little bit perfect so now we have everything masked out in our logo uh, and now we're going to start using some solid layers for the 3d effect we're going to start off with the logo you can hide these for the moment and then here Add element 3D to it. Open up custom layers and then choose custom text and masks. And then here we're going to choose our logo layer here. And then you're going to open up scene setup. And here you are going to press extrude here. So now we have the logo in 3D and it's pretty small. So I wanna increase the thickness of it. So I'm going to turn this up to just like that. And then we can apply a chrome effect here. And then we are going to press OK. And here we have our logo. You can hide the masked logo layer here. And then here make the Nike logo visible. And now we're going to match the size of the new 3D logo with the normal logo. So we're going to open up group 1. And then particle replicator. Particle look as well. I want to adjust the size to maybe 3.7. And then the position. Something like that. Looks good. And now we're going to do the same things with the letters here. So you can hide this layer, boom, and then make a new solid layer. And then, then name this just a N. Here, add element, 3D to it. Do the same thing we did before, custom layers, custom text and masks. And then you choose N here, the letter. Go to scene setup. You're going to press extrude again. And I want to increase the bevel size to around 20. Something like that, looks good. Add a chrome to this as well. Press OK. And now we are going to do the same thing here again. So we open a group 1, particle replicator, and then we're going to adjust the size and the position of this, the end there so it matches the ori original logo. So I'm going to drag down the size here to 3.35 and then change the position here something like that you guys can notice it's not as uh, big as the original but when the letters now are in 3d it becomes very tight in between the letters here so but it looks a lot better in the ending when we make the letters now a little bit smaller so yeah this looks good in my opinion and now we're going to start animating the logo and the uh, n letter here and the reason we're not uh, making the same with the i k and e is because we want to have the same animation for all of the letters here but when we're done with the animation we're going to change the position of the letters but we can start off with the logo here so you can make it visible and you can hide the original nike logo now and yeah, before we animate the Nike logo now, uh, I just remembered that we need to apply some shadows to this. So we're going to open up render settings and then ambient occlusion and then enable AO and then increase it to 50. Do the same thing with the N layer, render settings, ambient occlusion, enable AO, 
50, boom. And then you can go back to the logo 3D layer. And now we're going to animate this. So you're going to open up the layer, boom, effects, element 3D, group one, particle replicator. So yeah, you can start off by keyframing the position in the middle of the animation. And uh, our animation or composition here is going to be three seconds long. So keep that in mind. And in the middle, so one and a half seconds here, we're going to keyframe the position we made earlier and then go back to the beginning. And then here, we're going to change this to 540 to get the normal uh, position in the middle. So it's going to go down like that. And then here in the ending, we're going to have it to be 540 again. And you guys are going to uh, mark all of these keyframes and then press F9. And we're going to open up uh, the graph editor here. And uh, it will probably look like this for you guys. Uh, uh, and if it does, you're going to right click and then go to edit speed graph. And here we're going to drag this one all the way to the left and this one all the way to the left as well. And uh, on the other side, we're going to drag this one all the way to the right and this one all the way to the right. Boom. And this makes the animation go fast in the beginning here. Boom. And then it slows down and then boom, it goes, it goes fast in the ending. So that's how it looks now. And it will look a lot more better in the ending when ever, everything will be assembled. So yeah, that's the first thing. And the second thing we're going to fix now is the rotation here. So you're going to open up the rotation tab here. And then we're going to go to the beginning. And then keyframe on the Y rotation 90 degrees here. Just like that. And then we're going to go to the ending. And we are going to make it to be minus 90 degrees here. Just like that. And we're going to mark these two as well and press F9 and open up graph editor. And now we're going to go back to the value graph instead. And here we're going to drag this one down around here and this one up around here. And this will basically make the same thing uh, we did before. Uh, it just looks a little bit different the graph here. So it be will become faster in the beginning, slow down and it slows down in the middle and then becomes faster in the ending. So it looks something like this now. Boom, looks pretty good. Now go back and then we're going to fix the size of this. So you're going to open a particle look here and then particle size is going to peak in the middle. So you're going to press the clock here and in the middle and then go back to the beginning and then set it to zero. And do the same with in the ending, zero here, boom. And this one should actually be here at one second and you're going to press ctrl c and then go to two seconds and then press ctrl v because you want it to stay a little bit longer in the middle and then go back looks a little bit weird now the animation but we're going to uh, mark all the keyframes keyframes just like this press f9 go to the graph again and here our graph is going to look something like this you're going to drag this one all the way to the left here and the, the other one on the other side all the way to the left and this one all the way to the left all the way to the left i meant all the way to the right here but yeah <laughs> it's going to look something like this now we're done with the nike logo now for the nike text okay so now you can hide the 3d nike logo and make the 3d nike invisible just like that and we're going to open up the layer uh, by pressing this arrow down then go to effects elements group one group replicator rotation particle look open all of these up and we can start off with the position and uh, it's going to be almost the same as before so we are going to keyframe the position we uh, made before uh, in the middle here and then go to the beginning make the default position which is 960 here and then 520 and now you can copy this keyframe and then go to the ending boom paste that one in so it looks something like this now and it looks pretty weird so we are going to mark the keyframes again and press f9 open up the graph and here open up speed graph and then do the same we did before just like that. So it becomes faster in the beginning, slower in the middle, and then faster in the ending again. And now we are going to keyframe our rotation. And uh, 
and we're going to go to zero seconds here and then press the clock on the Y rotation here and we're going to drag this to 90 degrees this time and then go to the middle here it's going to be zero and then go to the ending and here it's going to be plus 90 degrees just like that and then mark the keyframes press f9 open up the graph and then choose edit value graph and then drag this one uh, just up a little bit just like that this one down a little bit just like that and then drag these two into this point here so it looks something like this pretty clean in my opinion and then now we're going to go down to the particle look section where the particle size is and here we're going to do the same we did with the position so we're going to keyframe it at the middle the particle size we chose before boom and then go to the beginning and then go with zero here and go to the ending and go with zero there as well just like that and we want to change the motion of this so we're going to mark the keyframes again press f9 open up the graph and this time we are going to drag this one up almost above the middle line a little bit then drag this one inwards something like, like that do the same with this one inwards and then this one above boom just a little a little bit above the middle point there and you will get the sweet spot perfect and then go out of the graph editor so yeah now we're done with both of the 3d animations now and now we are going to make the other letters in the nike logo so i'm going to press ctrl c on the end layer then press ctrl v boom you can hide the end layer and the logo and here we are going to select a new custom text and mask layer here which is going to be the eye layer it's a little bit glitchy but now we have the eye here and then open it up effects element group one group replicator and then here we're going to adjust the position and to do that we're going to make the original nike logo visible then open this up again and then here we are going to drag it to here looks good and now you are going to do the same thing we just did with all the other letters so i will be right back boom just like that so now we got something like this which looks absolutely amazing in my opinion and now i want to rotate the whole logo here a little bit so i'm going to open up particle rotation in the 3d logo layer now and then here on the x rotation change it to minus 10 and then on the y rotation change it to 30 degrees so it looks something like this do the exact same thing on all the 3d layers it looks pretty pretty good and now we're going to select all of the 3d layers and the masked layers here and then pre-compose them name it to nike logo and now i want to add some effects to this so we're going to add rays to the nike logo here sapphire race here the settings i will be using uh, are race length to one the brightness to 0 0.2 and then change the color to a light blue and dra drag down the threshold to zero just like that and now we are going to make a new adjustment layer so you press ctrl alt y and here i'm going to add four color gradient and I'm going to change the color here to a bright blue and copy it to all the others. And then change the blending mode to overlay. You can rename this to CC. And then Control alt y again. And here we're going to add a deep glow. And I'm going to increase this to 391 radius and the exposure to 0 0.5. And you can drag down the threshold to zero as well and add a smooth blending. Looks pretty, pretty clean right now. Uh, but there is one more thing I would like to change. And that is that the N in the Nike logo is behind the logo. So it looks a little bit weird. And uh, to fix that, we're going to uh, go back into the pre-comp here. So when you're here, you're going to drag the logo behind the end here. So it looks a lot better now, but, but when we start the animation, it looks a lot, it looks pretty, pretty weird. So what I'm going to do here is um, make a duplicate of the log 3D logo layer. So you press Ctrl D 
and then drag this one above the N layer. And then for this 3D logo layer, we're going to keyframe the opacity. So I'm going to go to 15 frames here and then press and then press clock here on the opacity and then go to and then go five frames forward to the 20th frame and then go zero. So it looks something like this now. Not the best transition, but it makes the job done. And then we're going to go back here. The final touch I want to add to this is a overlay in the background. So I'm going to use one from my particle pack, which is up on my store. I'm going to drag this in the background. It's pretty fast. So I'm going to slow this down a little bit. So I'm going to press Ctrl Alt T on this and then drag the last keyframe to something like this. Looks good. So now it looks something like this. Insanely clean 3D logo animation in my opinion. Uh, and yeah, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you guys have any new ideas on tutorials I can make, please comment that down below or DM me on my socials. And don't forget to check out my store if you want to have this particle animation in the background. I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.